Have you ever wondered how to get featured on major publications? Ever thought, that guy did it, why can't I? If the answer is yes, that's what we're gonna go over on today's video. It's really simple, I'll show you. So now you're probably wondering, Laura, how do I get featured on major publications or like blogs? Shit, maybe even just get a retweet on Twitter. So first things first, okay? You have to identify the perfect publication for you to pitch. And of course, not every publication is the same, okay? Like getting featured on Forbes to getting featured on social media marketing world is not the same thing. So what I recommend is if you're just starting out, instead of shooting for the stars and hitting all the A players first, focus on the B, C, and D players because the more people write about you, the more leverage you'll have when you reach out to the big player. If you don't know what publications to check out first, definitely go check out buzzsumo.com. They're one of my favorite resources and you should get them too. So what you'll find out with BuzzSumo is like what publications are posting about, what blog posts are getting the most engagement, and who the people writing them are. So that's super valuable. So the only way to really get featured is if you're a contributor, okay? So like major publications give contributors access to post about whatever they want to post about. It's really important that you have at least three to five relevant pieces to pitch people with or to pitch editors with um, to see if they'll take you on and put you on their publication. Personally, I'm a horrible writer. People just like know me because of my brand and they want me to talk to them. And it's really more like a it's really just like interview questions. That's, that's how I do it. Um, but there's, there's a lot of people out there that are contributors and they write out like awesome content for these big publications. So another thing you can do is follow the editors and the contributors on all social media and engage with them and, and show them like how much you appreciate their content. And I don't mean like kissing their ass or anything. I mean like genuinely just like read their content and give them feedback on it on like how awesome it is and um, build that relationship. This is all about building relationships guys, always. Whatever publications you choose, you need to go and see their requirements for contributors and make sure you meet those requirements so that you can get approved so after you've done all that you got to email the right people fam you reach out to them and contact them about becoming a writer and you can easily find the writers emails on the actual publications themselves and once they accept you all you have to do is regularly pitch them and submit articles and then it's a numbers game from there I hope that helped so I've been asked to be interviewed by full stack talent they're an amazing company in the Tampa Bay area and I'm gonna go to their headquarters and get interviewed by their marketing director and it's gonna be lit. I hope you guys enjoy it. What's going on guys? So I'm here with the amazing Roxanne Williams with Full Sack Talent. Yeah, and so she's actually like gonna interview me for a blog piece that they're doing and yeah, you guys are just gonna watch the experience. So we've been kind of doing like a interview series with tech leaders slash marketing leaders and companies and you are amazing, so. <laughs> At least I'm not the only one saying it anymore. <laughs> Do you want to just dive right into <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, let's go awesome. right in. So I first met you at Startup Week, where you delivered an amazing talk on digital marketing to a completely packed house. I'd like to know what got you involved in Startup Week. So it was actually like through Instagram. Oh. Yeah, so okay. Allie hit me up. Like she started following me like probably like six months before Startup Week. And she just like loved my content. And she was like, hey, I'm one of the organizers at Startup Week. Um, I'm like, I don't even know what that is, but that sounds really <laughs> cool. And she's like, yeah, I'd love for you to give a talk. And I was just like, okay, cool. And um, like, my life just like kept going on. And then like, I saw that Gary Vaynerchuk was gonna be there. So I followed up with her and I was like, hey, are we still like on to do this? Like, <laughs> can I still give a talk? She's like, hell yeah. Um, so that's what led to that. Nice. Are you gonna be participating this year? Yeah, I think so. I hope so. <laughs> I don't know. They just kind of hit me up. <laughs> okay. Well, you seem to be super passionate about the entrepreneurial space in Tampa. Can you speak to your involvement in the community? Any meetups or attend that you? Well, any meetups or events that you regularly attend? Yeah. Um. Regularly, not really, but I host them. Um, wow. So I'm partnered with an app called Startup Space. So our mission is to unite the world's entrepreneurs um, with resources at a local to global scale, so that we can all revolutionize the world together. So like we. Host Host, like meetups like for example like two weeks ago I did a meetup on like how to grow a wildly profitable Instagram and that was cool we did at the ECC right here in Ybor nice. and um, before that I did a talk at SPC that was also on meetups um, and it was like what is digital marketing you know? that's awesome. so that's how I'm contributing to the community I feel like I actually did have a question about startup space because you just started that project 
a few weeks ago, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> can you tell us a little bit more, like, what is your full involvement with it? Um, yeah, so I'm pretty much, like, a digital marketing partner. I'm, like, one of the advisors right now. Okay. Um, so pretty much we're, like, going to growth hack the app. Like, that's what we're in the process of doing um, by reaching out to influencers, um, having them demo the app and sharing it with their audience. Um, we're going to be at Web Summit in um, Lisbon, Portugal. Wow. Um, when is that? That's the first week of November. So I have an actual, I have an event in Puerto Rico I have to go to on the 24th or the 23rd, which is called Disrupt Week, um, which is super cool, cryptocurrency, all like tech stuff, and like my boy, his name's Anthony Delgado, um, he is like big in the tech scene in New York, and he's Puerto Rican, so he decided to move out and like, and like bring more value to, this, to the island, and like empower their people, um, especially since like the whole hurricane thing happened, and like, it was crazy. Um, but anyway, so I'm doing that. <laughs> and then from there, I'm going straight to Italy to spend some time with my mom for like a week. And then I'm going straight to Portugal and then back to Italy. And then I probably won't be back until January um, when we have to go to CES. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. So that's, that's the move. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Wow.